What I'd like to do here is to take you through how we make backups of individual songs from Power Music or in fact the entire database of music that we have in Power Music. The process is very simple so let's just get started on it now. I'll close down my quick start menu, I go up to file and I'm going to export some songs. When I click on here what I get is a list of all of the songs and pieces of music which are in Power Music. To select a song that I want to export I simply click on that song and move it across to the right hand column. I can do multiple selects by clicking on the first song, holding down the control key, selecting other songs and moving them across. And if I want to move a block of them across I can click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one and move it across. If I've accidentally moved one across I didn't actually mean to, I could click on that and move it back over. Once I'm happy with my selection of songs here to be exported I simply click on the export button <clears throat> I'm then asked to browse to where I want my export to go. Now a good idea is to export these out onto an external device uh, because obviously one of the reasons you might be doing this is to move the, the song from one computer to another or uh, to make a backup in case your computer fails. So I'm going to put it onto my pen drive which is here. I'll just say OK to that and it uh, puts the exported songs into a folder and the name of that folder is a unique name, it's date stamped with the current date and time so you don't need to worry about overwriting previous exports because each folder name is unique. I'll just click next and it's now in the process of exporting the songs. My light's flashing away in my pen drive and that's it done and I have now exported these songs out to my pen drive. If you have a multiple user a license for Power Music, you can then take that pen drive, take it to another computer which has Power Music on it, go to the file option up here, go to import songs, browse to where I put my uh, back my export, so that was on my pen drive here, and just find the export, there it is there. When I do that, I get a list of the songs which were exported previously onto that folder. I can again select which ones I want to put back in and I click on import and that's them imported into this version of Power Music. It's that easy to import and export individual or groups of songs. Of course as with all data you have on a computer you should make regular backups. So one of the features in Power Music is to make an entire backup of the database of all the sheet music, all the chord sheets, all the notes you've made in your Power Music. To do that, we go to File again, and this time we go to Backup, browse again to where we're going to put it, so once again I'm going to put it onto my pen drive, so I go here and select my pen drive, and again a unique folder is created, date stamped and time stamped with the name PM Backup. I say Next, and now the process of exporting all of the sheet music, all of the chord sheets, all of the notes, all of the categories and tags that you've put onto your music are being put onto the pen drive. Now this can take quite a time because the database can be quite large of the order of several hundred megabytes if you have a few hundred pieces of music. OK, so that's uh, about five minutes that took to make a backup of over 500 pieces of music that I have here in Power Music. So I just click OK to that and I've now got a complete backup of all of the files, all of the sheet music, all of the chords, all of the categories that are in Power Music. If I need to restore it, um, supposing uh, my computer has uh, had a faulty hard drive and I've got a new system and I need to put it back on, I simply go to File, go to Restore browse again to where you stored it. So again I put it on my pen drive so I'll just go to my pen drive here and uh, find the backup I want to restore which is in fact this one here. I say OK to that and if I click Next that will restore all of these files back into Power Music. And notice it will overwrite anything that you have already stored in Power Music. So that's how easy it is to make backups of individual songs, groups of songs or the entire database in Power Music. I hope you found this useful.